All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to apply the Orton Effect in six easy steps. Now, if you're not familiar with the Orton Effect, it's a post-processing technique that adds a little bit of mystery, or if you prefer, a romantic feel, depending on your subject. To follow along, go ahead and grab this image from the link in the description below. So the first step is coming over here and duplicating your layer so you can work non-destructively. Step number two is adjusting the contrast. So we're gonna do that by going up to colors here and selecting brightness, contrast, and then you're going to increase the contrast to around 10 to 50, depending on your image. You don't wanna to lose too much detail in the image. So I'm gonna go right around 15 for this particular image. Go ahead and click okay. All right, so the third step is to add some Gaussian blur. So let's go up to filters, blur, and select Gaussian Blur from here. And again, depending on your image, you're gonna do around 10 to 50 for the size here. So I think I might go right around the same amount as the contrast. So let's do 15. Step four is converting this image layer from normal to screen. So go ahead and find that, which is right here, and go ahead and apply that. Now what I wanna do is I wanna add in a little bit of contrast again because I think it's a little bit too flat. Or if you want, you can actually stop right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and go up to colors and select curves from here. And I'm gonna add a little bit of an S curve. I'm gonna bring the blacks and the shadows down a little bit. I don't need to adjust the highlights or the whites because it's already pretty bright as it is. I just wanna darken it up just a little bit. So right about there. And then the last thing you can do if you wanna tone it down is drop the opacity just a little bit or more, depending on your creative vision. All right, to continue elevating your GIMP editing skills, make sure to subscribe and check out that playlist right there to learn more about editing in GIMP.